Guys, so when you're gonna replace the wheel bearings, I use um, a one inch to drive the uh, wheel bearings in. So um, put your wheel bearings in like that and make sure make sure the uh, one inch sit on the outer part of the bearings. Take a look at that. You don't want to knock the uh, inner part of the bearings. Always have something sitting on the outer part like that. And also underneath, I have something supporting. All right, so watch this. So the bearings is already going in. Just keep on So as soon as the bearings go in, you're gonna feel it's like don't wanna go anymore because inside there's a support. Soon as the bearings reach all the way in, it's gonna. So right there. So as you can see, the one inch work perfect for this because it will sit on the outer part and it will drive the bearings go all the way on the inside. So um, we're gonna just flip it over and don't forget guys to put the uh, inner spacer back you don't have to grease this part up because we're going to grease up the um axle but don't forget to put the uh, inner spacer back and same thing we're going to do with this side we're going to just drive the bearings in and we're going to get this guy bike up and running again man guys that's what's up That's it, just like that. Simple, very easy. We just replaced the guy uh, wheel bearings, put brand new wheel bearings, and we get his bike up and running again. Guys, okay, so that's what's up. So what we're gonna do now? We have the uh, we have the cover for this side. So what I'm gonna do with the cover? We're gonna load the cover up. Also here, we're gonna load it up with grease, and we're gonna just seal it and forget it. Guys, stick around. More still coming up. <laughs> 